It's kind of funny. A lot of people buy houses for, you know, many reasons, financial gains and stuff like that. For me, it was just to have a place for me and my friends to hang out, you know? There's almost somebody over here almost every night. That's another reason why I don't get anything done, because, you know, we just sit here and talk shit on each other more than get anything done. It's kind of a roast in my garage, you know? If you're ever here, you'd get it, because nothing's safe, nothing's sacred around my friends. I'm not a big shine guy. I've never even used a chromer before. If I didn't get the piece chromed already, it's not going to be chrome. That's never in the cards for me. I like to reuse a lot of old pieces if I can. That one, it's more or less for financial reasons. I can't afford to go buy all the nice new stuff. I think a lot of stuff that I do, people like use the term skinny bike stuff, I don't know. It's kind of contradicting considering I'm fat. <laughs> All right, just check in on it. All right, cool. I look at a bike and it's like, okay, what can I do with this it, to change it and make it not for normal, like a conventional use piece? My dad had a bike before I was born, but wrecked it and died came back to life basically and kind of was like over bikes so by the time I was even old enough to even know what a bike was it really wasn't in the picture the old cars is where it began for me you know as early 50s and, and prior to that is just when America to me was in its prime you know we were making stuff that was you know, built to last some of the most stylish things that ever came out of America, you know, out of Earth, for that matter, you know, was that era, you know. Me and my friends all had old cars, so we started lowering them, and that was killer, and... I would've been heartbroken if that thing fell and just dented. I was stuck on cars, you know, and I've always liked bikes, the, the, you know, choppers and that stuff. It's always been something in the back of my mind. I've always liked them, but it was never enough to yank me in completely and, and hold on to me. But, you know, all my friends started selling all their cars to buy Hondas, you know, like smart cars, you know. They were doing the smart thing, kind of, you know, buy cars for work to get to work. And me, I never, I just never did it. All my cars to this day are still pieces of shit. I grew up, you know, we didn't have a whole lot. So it's kind of like, if you want it, you gotta get it yourself. I'm at the swap meets every month, you know, looking for stuff to cut up. I love digging through parts and finding stuff. I'm not being a scavenger, <laughs> finding old stuff and reusing it. Sometimes you get lucky, man. I tell you a price and yeah, sure, I'll give you a hundred bucks for it, no problem. <laughs> but if you're buying other stuff, just don't beat them down on, because you know you're already getting a good deal. Sometimes you get good deals, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get stuff you can't use. I saw a bike here in town at a show, and I was like, man, I gotta get me a bike. Saved up my money, bought me a motor, and uh, went from there, got a frame and everything. Just built the bike, I didn't have nobody to help me. That's the bike that went through all kinds of changes, and. Motor blow ups and wrecks and it's the only bike I ever had that almost killed me. I had that bike for three years. I was always constantly changing it, you know, as I saw different bikes and saw other people's styles and looked at different stuff. So yeah, it went through a bunch of changes, but now I don't have it no more. I don't know where it is now. I just started uh, selling whatever bike parts I had to make some money and then I bought a bike and built it. And, I built a bike for my uncle. It was a blue panhead. That was the first panhead I built. He was like my first person to ask me to ever build a bike. I built him his panhead and then it just went from there and just started buying bikes and then parts and putting them together and building them and, and selling them. I've been building bikes for about six years now. It's been 22 bikes since Jonas was born. It's been a lot of, it's, I can't even, I sit down and think about it. I'm like, that's a lot of motorcycles. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. Learned a lot about bikes. Learned a lot about people, friendships. You know, it's not just about bikes.
I just build what I like and, and some people I guess like it and they want me to build them a bike and that's how it's pretty much gone. It's been pretty cool, all my customers, they have a little bit of input but they just say build me, build me a bike that you'd want for yourself and I say sure, yeah, I'll build another bike for myself. <laughs> that's my only source of income. Every bike I build, it's, that's how I make my living. I was super young, I was like five. I fell in love with motorcycles. My dad had motorcycles. He had a bull taco motocross bike, he had his trail bike, and then he had a big 66 full dress Harley. Of course, looking up to dad, I wanted a bike, but they would never get me a motorcycle, so the next thing was, we'll buy a bicycle. So, I knew I wasn't gonna get a motorcycle, so I did the best I could to learn how to ride a bicycle. That just turned into BMX, you know? I mean, it was pretty late on this, but in my very early 20s, as I, I lived and grew up in Western Pennsylvania, and in order to get anywhere even remotely close to the scene, you had to be here, Southern California. So my friend Rob and I packed everything up and moved here. And I don't know, two or three months later, I got a job in the customer service department at GT Bicycles. And that just turned into riding again and riding with pros and actually getting up to a really good level of being a good rider again. And that was fun. That was a great group of people. Like Eddie's generation is just a whole new thing, not only in you know style and tricks and all that, but the bikes themselves are whole different animal too. It's just pretty cool. It's finally kind of refreshing to see some pretty big changes in somewhat of a short amount of time compared to the first bunch of years, you know.